for two years now. Um, yeah. Or, or is it more than two years? Have, were you on other platforms prior to StreamMate as well? No. no? This, this is, is your first game? Oh, my gosh. Wow. <laughs> well, um, yeah, what are, you, what are your plans on where you're going to take this in, in the near future? Is I don't I don't ever want to stop. Like I love this. This job was made for me. I'm meant to be in this industry. I am such a kinky, upbeat, fun individual on cam. Um, but what I would like to do as I get older in my cam life, I would like to bring on other girls. I would like to have a little cam family, and I would like to manage them. And basically, what my boyfriend's doing for me, do for those other girls, and train them and teach them all about this industry. That's something that I would want to do. And honestly, I think Streamate is an amazing site to go to when you're starting out as a cam girl or even later on in your cam years. I mean, they offer you so much help on Streamate. They um, they really take care of us girls on Streamate. So that's something that I'd really like to do in my later cam life. <laughs> I've noticed over the years that um, there are a lot of adult stars, like adult film people, coming oh. into live cams. Um, some of them stick with it and some not so much. Um, yeah. As the years have gone by, I've also noticed that some cam models are going the film route or they're expanding more into other facets of the adult industry. Mm -hmm. Do you think that's something that you would be open to in the future or something that you can see yourself doing? I would do porn if it was girl, girl porn. I don't know if I would necessarily ever do guy, girl porn. It's just not something that I'm into. I don't think I would ever want to have sex on film with anybody other than my boyfriend. Um, have you found that there were any barriers as far as having to tell people what you do? Yes. Mm -hmm. I have. It's been tough to tell people sometimes because I get so strongly judged because they think of this as something as someone's going to come find me and they're going to hurt me. And that's not exactly how it is. They, they make this whole picture of what camming is like and they don't really know what it is. My parents actually found out I was a cam girl two weeks into my career. Oh, my gosh. It's very yeah. soon. Okay. Not just my parents, but my entire family found out. How did they find out that you were a cam girl? Um, let's just say a family mem member found me on a social media site. Okay. So how did they, t how did they take it whenever they found out that you were a cam model? Well, like I said, I was a clinical esthetician, so I actually worked next door to my dad, and he called me in, and he confronted me, and it was really uncomfortable, and he goes, well, either you tell your mom or I'm going to tell her, so I ended up telling my mom, and she is a highly Christian woman. Okay. So, <laughs> I kind I of shunned for a little while, but actually she's now very supportive of me. I have custody of my five-year-old nephew, and I've made his life change for the complete better. He's got everything that he needs for a little five-year-old. <laughs> yeah. So they're very supportive. They think, they don't think like I'm going to go to hell or anything for it. They just, they want to make sure that I'm on the right track for success. They don't want me to be 30 years old and lose everything I have. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So maybe that was a happy accident that it happened so early on in your career then, right? I mean, you could oh, actually be open open about it, yeah. Are you an only child? Do you have brothers and sisters also that know about, I, you do? Do they know yeah, about I, what you do? Yeah, brothers and a sister. Yeah, they all know. They all know what I do. My whole family, except for my grandmother. Okay. My grandmother, okay. God forbid, let, let's keep her safe. It's really important though to have, to have mm -hmm. that support from the day to day because, you know, you're working by your, or most people are working by themselves, yeah. you know, and perhaps that can be even an isolating feeling to not really have oh. people to relate to. So that's awesome that you have that community. So a typical day for me, I'm up at about 5.45 every morning. I'm up very oh early every morning. Okay. <laughs> like I said, I have custody of my five-year-old nephew. So I usually get myself ready, wake him up, and then I go and take him to school. I eat breakfast, and then I'm usually on cam around 8.30 or 9 o'clock in the morning every day. I like getting on early. I feel like I'm the best early in the morning, and I'm ready to go. Um, I usually start with privates and exclusives, and then go on with gold shows. 
Starting my day with anal is always a good start to my day. Starting my day with anal is always a good start to my day. <laughs> Puts me in a good mood, and if I feel like I'm in a little bit of a rut in the middle of the day, I usually do like a DP shell so I can hate fill both of my holes, and that just makes me like makes my day go on much better. Yeah. You can't be angry when that happens. So then I do that. Audrey and I, if we also have, if we have ruts, we'll just be goofy in the middle of the day. We'll log off for a solid 10 minutes and then we'll do that. Um, and then once it's time to get off from cam, I drive to go pick up my nephew from school. I make dinner and right now I'm teaching him how to swim. So I usually, after dinner, I take him to the pool and we go swimming. <laughs> And then I get myself ready for bed. I take a nice hot shower and I stand under the hot, hot water and it's so good. And then go to bed. So you're working, it sounds like you work around your nephew's schedule. Um, mm -hmm. Is that at all tricky for you with, I mean, I, I'm assuming he goes to school then during the day. Yeah. Is that right? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, is it is it tricky for you working around his schedule, or do you think he has any suspicions as far as like what you do during the day when he's not around? I when I started camming, one of the things that I did was I researched and researched and researched what people did if they have really close children to them, and I'm completely okay when he's older telling him what I do. I'm going to tell him because I feel like this is part of my life and I want him to be supportive like the rest of my family is, you know? So, but yes, the schedule can be very conflicting. It's upsetting. Like some days if I don't hit my personal goal that I set for myself and I have to log off for the day to go pick him up from school, it's frustrating for me, you know? Not that I don't want to go pick him up from school. I do. But um, there's definitely days where it'd be nice to do what I want to do when I want to do it. Have you tried, have you tried working like later? Have you working later at night? How is that for you? I am the, oh, so basically the reason I chose my schedule, I am the oldest young person ever. I go to bed at nine o'clock every day. <laughs> at nine? Oh my God. Okay. <laughs> I, I, I get so tired. I can't stay up during the night. I'm actually thinking about changing my schedule to work at night sometimes, but I just have such a hard time staying up. Like, if I don't get my sleep, God forbid you talk to me. <laughs> like, I see some of these girls, like, doing, like, camathons. It's like, I'll be on for, like, 24 hours or whatever. <laughs> Is that something you've ever tried? I have tried doing a cam marathon before, and they are extremely tough. I would definitely try it for one of your one- or two-day contests again. I think there's things that I would tweak about my schedule. But, like, Vicky J, I've got to hand Holy it to her. God. Yeah. Like, I don't think there was a moment that I didn't see her on cam. I, I was so surprised. I messaged her on Twitter. I was like, girl, I'm like, I don't know how you did that. And I'm like, on top of that, like, when I do cam marathons, I look like a homeless person after it. Like, she <laughs> looks right. great. She looks great. I look like trash. I'm like, how'd you do that, girl? I know. It's like, That's if you hire like, a makeup artist or something to, like, touch you up, and I, I, would, I would think that I would need, like, a nice long rest of just, like, yes. you know, nothing uh -huh. at least a couple of days after that oh absolutely and she's on cam today i was like oh she's a star. yeah she's a machine That's she crazy. is she did a great job i was i was i was proud of her i'm not even her parent but i'm proud of her right. i know right That's, i think i felt i felt the sense of community like rallying around her after yeah. after she placed first in this last contest like yeah, yeah. so many props to her for doing that um, do you feel like you've built, you've managed to build a re relationships over the past couple of years with any of your, your clients online? I absolutely have built great relationships um, with some of my customers online. I have customers that have seen me from day one that still come and see me every now and again. Or, you know, I have them on Snapchat or I have them on Twitter and they still talk to me and stuff like that. They still spend money on me. They still pay for shows and stuff like that. So it's great getting to know them a little bit on a personal level and knowing what they do with their day, knowing what they like to do with their life and what they enjoy. I feel like getting to know that customer a little bit more allows you to give them a better show. Yeah. You know? Yeah. It's not all about just rushing to the privates necessarily, right? I, agree. I mean, yes. at, at the same time. I mean, obviously, yes, there is like a money transaction, but yes. it's so much more than that, too. And also, this Absolutely. is your everyday life. It's not just like, I, I would feel like it would be a little bit robotic if you were just like 
in, out, you know, it is. and nothing there in between. Absolutely. I think a client relationship is really important. I have, I have a great relationship with, of course, they're, they're my biggest fans, you know, I have a great relationship with them. If people want me to have that relationship with them, I love having it because it can just make every second of my cam life so much better and it can make every second of their shows so much better. It makes it fun. Do you, uh, I don't know if you've seen this whole sensationalized Netflix series, um, Oh, shoot. What is it called? Like, turned on something. Do you know what I'm talking about? Mm -mm. Okay. Well, there's this Netflix documentary. And um, in one of the episodes, it showed a cam girl. And she, like, went as far as meeting a customer in person. Mm -hmm. Like, she flew to him. And, yeah. Um, with a camera crew, I guess. And, like, met up with this customer. What are your thoughts about people that maybe take the relationship a little bit further whenever they feel like they have that established relationship with a client. What is What are your viewpoints on, on going off, taking it so far as being offline with a customer? That's an amazing question. I get asked every day, what are my prices for meetups? I've been offered as like so much money that I wouldn't know what to do with the money they were giving me. Um, but for me... I would never judge a girl for wanting to meet up with a fan. I would never judge her. Me personally, that's not my thing. I'm in a very committed relationship with my boyfriend and girlfriend. I've been in a relationship with them for over two years now. I love them completely. So I feel like doing something like that with a fan would cross that barrier, and that's not okay. I think it's okay for me to communicate with that fan over social media, Twitter, Snapchat, whatever it may be. But I feel like actually meeting them would send the message to that fan that I actually want to date them. I've had customers come in and tell me that they love me. I've had customers tell me they they would uh, do anything to basically be my boyfriend. And I don't want to give them that feeling. I feel like that's taking it just a touch too far for me. Yeah. Even um, through what you say, right, online mm -hmm. or on cam, Absolutely. Like, yeah, that could totally set the wrong impression. I've bumped into fans on the street, and the way they handle it is it's not good. It makes me extremely uncomfortable. I was walking through the mall, and I had a guy just point at me and scream, that girl does porn. And so it's just like, if that's how people are going to handle it, it's really uncomfortable. When I was in Vegas, I had a couple of people ask my boyfriend if I was submissive Lexi. And it's just the way people handle it. I don't know if that's something I'd be into. Now, if I were to go to Expos or CamCon or something like that and tell my fans I'll be there, that's a completely different story. Right. I'd feel very safe. Right. That's a controlled environment more so. Absolutely. Right. Absolutely. I don't want it to be just me in an area, you know, with somebody that I've seen on cam, but I don't know them personally. As much as they get to know me, right. they don't know me completely. Right. Um, does that happen very often? Like where people recognize you? You have a big following. I have people recognize me, but sometimes they can't place my face where they found me. Like I was dropping my nephew off at school and the guy goes, I know I've seen you before. I can't figure it out. Where have I seen you before? And I'm just like looking, I'm like laughing. I'm, I'm just walking away. I'm like, right. I know. And it's like, is he trying me right now? Because <laughs> I think you already know the answer to your question, right? <laughs> I had someone do that. I was on the plane on my way home from Vegas, and the guy in front of me was looking at my Twitter, and it's just like, huh, okay. Oh, my gosh. I see so, getting started, getting started as a webcam model, I mean, did you ever think that, like, fast forward to a couple of years later, like, people would be recognizing you on the street, you know? Did you ever think that it would get to this point where you are now? When I first started camming, I was so mad at my parents for the way they handled things. I told myself I was going to be as big as I could. <laughs> I was to basically be like, you know what? You don't think I can do this? I will show you I can. I'm that kind of person. Like, if there's something that needs to be fixed and you take it from me and you fix it, I'm going to be upset because I wanted to fix it. I want to make it work. I'm just like that. I've always been driven. I'm very much an entrepreneur. I could never work for anybody. It's not my thing. So. Uh -huh. Did I ever think I would be where I was? No. Did I ever think I would have the following that I do? No. But I did tell myself that I want to be as big as I could as soon as they found out. It was kind of like, let's do this. <laughs> let's show them. Her 
Perfect. So you guys can find me at www.submissivelexi.com. You guys can also find all 98 of my videos on many vids. Um, you can find the links to those also on www.submissivelexi.com. You guys are more than welcome to message me there if you have any questions, concerns, comments, any of those things. I also have a Twitter. If you look up at Submissive Lexi, please come follow me. I would love that. Um, and you guys can also visit me on Streamate, which is submissivelexi.cammodels.com. Yeah, I, I, I love I love my job as a cam girl. I could not be more happy about what I'm doing. I mean, how many people get to say that they they love their job so much that at the end of a Sunday night, they just wish they would gone gone to work that day. You know, I miss being on cam. Yeah. My days off, I miss being here. I love it. I love my cam family. I love my fans. I love my supporters. I feel like without them, I would not be half of the cam girl that I am. I love everything about it. And it's a great stress relief going to work. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> heard it, guys. Submissive Lexi. Follow her everywhere and come watch her shows. Lexi, thank you so much for your time today. I really, really appreciate you taking the time out of your day to do this. Oh, no. Thank you, Vanessa. It was awesome finally meeting you. I know. I know. Hopefully, I'll see you around, too, at, at some of the shows here. In Absolutely. There, there are lots of opportunities, but, yeah, let's definitely keep in touch. Absolutely. Thank you so much, Lexi. Thank you so much, Vanessa. All right. Have, have, a, good, have a good day. I'll talk soon. All right. Bye. bye.